I can remember where I was driving along and God said to me, Gary, in this place you're going to shed blood, sweat and tears. But if you're faithful to me, I'll be faithful to you. And I just remember seeing a, a massive thunderstorm coming in across the city. And it was just this feeling like, wow, this could be an incredible place, but it was so broken. And I just had this deep inner conviction that I was in the right place at the right time. This was where God wanted me. And uh, a rainbow appeared out of that storm. And the end of the rainbow uh, was from one side of the city over the other. And I felt at the, at the foot of the rainbow, there's a pot of gold. And I'm going to find that pot of gold in the heart of this city. Uh, 30 years ago, I was one of the first original 30 members of the church. And of course, much later, the church grew beyond bounds. It spread to other cities. Even the one church they, that they started downtown became too big that they had to distribute it into districts. I'm a judge now at the International Court of Justice. What this court is, it's the judicial arm of the United Nations. We deal with disputes between states. So it's, it's government to government. But I also happen to be the first African woman judge on the court. And the fact that I am one of the Watoto members, if you like, I think is, is something to be proud of, absolutely. And, and I feel that I, I have an opportunity now to practice the values that I've learned throughout my Christian walk um, in Watoto, to practice them at this level, to practice justice at the world level. I mean, how awesome is that? A fire has been burning for over 30 years. The sparks are spilling into the world, into our nation. Now is the time to bring that fire to our friends and neighbors. Look around. Everybody needs what we have. Everybody's desperate for what we've got. But be sure of this, what we've got is Jesus Christ. Now is the time. The future is ours. Let's build it together. Welcome to the next level.